boy Slay is here, and uh, we got our deck profile for Gogeta, a Nyx deck that he would have ran at Nats if he was able to go. So let's start right off with this. Leader card is Son Goku and Vegeta, uh, once per turn. When you activate Union Fusion, you get to draw a card. Um, when it attacks, you send the top five cards of your deck to the warp, which is really good because your Union Fusion then lets you use cards from the warp to, to do the Union Fusion. Yeah. And then and you get to draw a card and take a life as well. On the back side, it's the same thing. Um, get to draw a card when you Union Fusion. Get to draw a card when you swing and send top five cards of your deck to the warp. For the Goku package, we have four Son Goku True Fighting Spirit. Even though it has the unique feature, it's still a great card, especially because counters are still big. So being able to get rid of cards from your opponent is really good. Yeah. Um, still with Goku, um, being able to just get cards from your over go, get cards from your warp is very big as well, so that you can sit there and just get them back to recycle any of your fusion cards. And then. Double strike because people like adding cards to their hand by non-leader skills, so it's just a free 15k double strike as well. But it's also still used good for Union Fusion. Definitely adapt to how we play the game now. Vegeta, True Fighting Spirit, um, Blue Hate. Yeah. <laughs> That's all it is, is Blue Hate and still... Blue? Blue. Blue's worst nightmare. You can have most of those on those. Um, another one still is the Super Combo. Uh, still free for the Union Fusion as well, so mm -hmm. it doesn't matter if it goes to the warp or not for this situation. You want it in mm -hmm. your drop or warp. Most definitely. And last but not least, the other 30k, the SS4 Vegeta Fane Greeting, just because if you can play it, you're warping a card out of their hand, but it's also the counterpart to Goku. Uh, the Union Fusion Package. Fearless Fusion uh, gets to get rid of a battle card with warp or barrier, so anything that has barrier is uh, no longer a thing for this card. Yep. Martial Melee, uh, we definitely want to get at least one more of this just because it's a free double It's double strike, and it chooses battle cards from the warp and puts them back, and he stands back up then. And our boy, one of, Gogeta. Mm. When it swings, it still warps a card. I think it can... I think we're ready for this card still to still be at one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, the Powerful. other packages we play are Supreme Kaya Time, so that we can actually grab our Pycon, oh, so nice. we can get our one drops and do Union Fusion from our warp as well, or play a Union Fusion card. Nice. And then when this is in your warp, if you choose it, you get to get this back. Synergy. Um, Trunks Time Regulator because we like to draw cards. John is good. Basically prevents your opponent from attacking more than once during your opponent's turn. It's a great overwhelm card in my opinion. It's a black floodgate. We use this one for those strike cards because we don't want to sit there and take those triple and double strikes. You know, it's great, especially because it just stops that from happening. Yeah. Especially because we take ourselves down to four so quickly. Yeah, people get caught with that double strike chopper all in. This stops the counter cards, and it's just really good for four energy. It's just another double strike, but it means they can only use a counter attack once, I think, right? Yeah, or, or you can negate a counter attack. Yeah. It was putting work on me on camera. Trunks because we send it. We always have cards in the warp, and we want to be able to send them from the warp to the drop, so we can do overwhelms. Nice. Time bullet just because it's a it's a great counterplay card, especially if we want to get cards in our drop as well. So then we're stopping a two drop from being played. Mm-hmm. Uh, Rebellion Hammer. I like this card. It's just another negate. It just stops things from being played, and it's just really good. And if it's 12 or more cards in your warp, uh, reduce the energy cost in your hand by one. So it's a, it's a one-drop card because all of our cards are in our warp anyways. Very much energy. Um, our negates are Supreme Kai. So when mm. they go to bang their big boy out, we Supreme Kai them. Their big boy goes to the warp, and then we uh, get to stop that swing from happening, but it also makes it so that it comes back too, but it's a free. Three power burst, just because we want to be able to grab our one drops back if we need them. Petrification to stop the 
other things, especially ignoring barrier because barrier is big this format. Hundred uh, percent. It's great though to have. Hundred percent. Two support of the Dark Empire just because it's a free negate when you're at five or less life. And last but not least, the Scur of the deck. Nice. Evil Sand Malice Made Flesh. Uh, this Scur is putting a lot of work for this deck, especially if it's only got to be played for two energy, because mm -hmm. it just stops them from playing their playing their battle cards, because you can just, once per turn, take control of one of their seven or less battle cards. Plus, if your opponent has two or more life, you get to go through their life and send one of their seven drops to the warp. Big bomb in my top five. That'll be it. Uh, any last thoughts on the deck? Um, I feel like going forward, Cumber's new profile will be better going forward just because we are going to build the Cumber deck for him. Yeah. And I feel like that deck might have a little bit better synergy, but for now, this one's great. All right. Thanks for the profile, and uh, catch y'all later. Like, comment, subscribe.